everyone welcome to my channel Netflix. in this video I am going to tell you how to edit a particular record in your PHP and how to change or update that particular record for that uh, I have made a form in which I am going to add something for example if I am going to add here uh, let's say it's triple P and the mark says 1000 so if I'm going to click on the save the form then triple P and 1000 is being added to my uh, this table as well as database so what I need to do here is I need to create a column with the name added and I want to edit that particular record so that I can change its value so uh, moving to this part uh, first of all we have to create a edit heading so edit heading and now I am going to create a link like edit.php let's say a curious string is being generating like it's eid equals to row eid uh, let's say edit so here my edit uh, text is being displayed uh, by clicking by putting a cursor on this edit text uh, we have an a URL that is generating is that EID equals to 2 and the same URL like if I'm going to click on this URL then uh, the edit ID the page will be refreshing and edit ID edit dot PHP EID 2 means second number record is been referring if I am going to click on this edit ID with the ID as 3 so here 3 ID will be uh, representing and same uh, so on four five six seven eight so when I am going to click on the edit ID the first record then edit ID EID parameter equals to two has been passed into your uh, this address bar so the page is been refreshed so when the page is been refreshed I am going to place my code over here if not empty dollar underscore get EID so what does EID means EID contains the value of uh, value of 2 right now so dollar underscore get EID equals to 2 so 2 will be transferred to your ID variable and now query uh, we are going to select that particular record for edit editing purpose so select star from student where ID equals to ID and result will be my i underscore query and here connect and query uh, with the help of that uh, your query will be executed and we will be having that particular record uh, so result my sql query and i need to fetch this particular record for that i need to pass a function that is my sql fetch association and here i am going to specify the result variable so uh, result variable so mysql fetch association will be fetching all the particular record like here if i am going to say here as that eid right now is 2 and the 2 will be passed to this id variable and now the query simplifies that select star from student where id equals to 2 so this particular record with id 2 name john cena and the marks 1000 will be fetched in this result variable so with the mysql fetch association that record will be further fetched in ro variable and ro variable uh, is containing the uh, this second number record in it in the form of array so here i am going to display it before editing so if here I am going to say as if not empty ro uh, first of all I need to like uh, get open a php block in this because it has been like uh, calling from this ro variable so if not empty ro let's say its name that echo ro name will be displayed so here my name has been displayed so again the same part I'm going to rewrite in the marks in the marks uh, this column in the marks text box that if not empty ro marks 
then marks will be displayed over here so if i am going to click on this edit in the third record so here third record the name will be tanya and the marks will be 1000 so in this way you can just place your like uh, you can just uh, display your record in the text box before editing and also we need some criteria by which we can pass uh, we have to input its id uh, also so input type should be a text variable the name should be edit id and let's say its value will be uh, i can just copy this and i'm going to place this and here i can place here as id so id so here an id is also been displayed so here if i'm going to click on uh, fourth record uh, then the first record so id is second enter name is john c and the marks is 1000 so if i am going to submit this one this form now so that form as we have we are going to submit this uh, we are going to click on this submit button then the name save will be passed and this particular block will be executed so right now this particular block served only query with inserting the value into the table but now i need to adjust the update query as well in this block because the same form is used for adding the record as well as updating the record so here i am going to like put a condition if not empty dollar underscore get edit id if it is not empty because here i have like made an extra input type text with the name edit id so if not empty dot underscore get edit id id will be transferred in your edit id and a query will be uh, made like update student set name equals to get name and marks equals to get marks where id equals to id so uh, if in in the case edit id is not empty means edit id is available then this query will be executed and if edit id is empty then this query of insert will be added because uh, edit id will be only available when we are going to edit the record so if i am going to refresh this so in the starting if i am going to refresh this form i need only i only need to fill my name uh, and uh, you can say triple j and uh, 100 so save the form as you see that edit id is empty right now so uh, when the submit button is clicked it is gone it is it has come to this block and in this block as we are seeing that edit id is empty and is uh, is having the value of triple j and m is having the value of 100 so save is also having the value so this block is being executed the n and m values are being transferred to the get name and the get marks variable and here it's checking that if not empty dollar underscore get edit id so edit id is right now empty so this condition becomes false and it is going to save the record with the insert statement so insert into student name marks get name and get marks so the value has been inserted over here so in this case when i'm going to click on the edit button so edit id will be generated in the top and that particular record will be displayed for editing purpose and if i'm going to just edit my record with the triple j hyphen one two three and the enter marks is 1000 so if i'm going to save this form then the edit id will also be passing so if not empty edit id so edit id is nine that will be transferred in your id variable and the update query will be executed in which name and marks will be updated for that particular record of id so in this way you can just edit your uh, your update your particular record into your database so as we are seeing that this well this text box that is uh, like is used particularly when we are editing the record so we can just hide it uh, we can put it as input type hidden and we can just hide it instead of showing it so let's see uh, that whether it is been executing or not so the jinder is 100 
so right now the value has been inserted with the name is in the end 100 and if i'm going to edit this and now uh, we can say as uh, this and 100 uh, instead of 100 i can do as 10 so if i'm going to save this so now that particular record has been updated so in this way you can do edit you can edit your record you can update record with the help of php i hope you like my video and if you like my video do 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 subscribe to my channel for getting all the latest update of technical tutorials either it is php python and many more to come so do like my videos subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching my video.